Mini Cake TV giving us this 128 gigabyte Batocera recall box build. Gonna work on the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. So you're gonna get a nice, well performing recall box build. You will have to do a couple of things like change the language, things like that, which I'll show you in the beginning of this video. Overall, so far, I'm liking it. Do know before we get way into it that you will need a Samsung 128 gigabyte SD card as those have a little bit more space or as what I'm doing here, uh, because I don't have a Samsung 128, I'm putting it on a 200 gigabyte SD card, um, which allows me to play more games on it, but also, you know, I had one laying around, so it's a fairly simple thing to do. So without further ado, let's get into it. Found my controller, up, down, left, right, up, left on your left analog, up, left on your right analog, A, B, X, Y, start, select, bumpers, triggers, and click in your analog sticks, and then select. That's how I like to set it up. Options of the system, lang, for language, let's go to English. Uh, whoa, this is overclocked. A lot. <laughs> uh, do know it starts off at 1.5 uh, gigahertz. I'll keep it like that. Let's just keep the party started here. I do have my Pi in a really good case, the Wicked Aluminum case. And um, the other thing I want to do is turn off the background music. Oh, it's going to want to. I think it just asked me to restart it. Yeah. Okay. So we have to restart first to get that language change. All right, so far I'm liking it. Mini Cake TV coming from France. So the thing about that is it was in French language. But as you saw, hit start. We went to the system settings. We changed the language. And hey, if you're coming from another country, feel free to change it to whatever you want. Japanese, Russian, Hungarian. Do you know it is overclocked right now? Extreme. So this is uh, meant for the Raspberry Pi 3B+. Plus. Not sure if it'll work on the 3B or not. Um, that'll be interesting. Uh, now this is Batocera. This is a Batocera recall box uh, build. And uh, why is that cool? Because recall box historically uh, within the last, you know, in 2018, even, even after the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus came out, did not support the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. You were forced to use the Raspberry Pi 3B. So um, there are some um, beta builds of Recall Box at work and this build as well. So Mini Cake TV bringing us this 128 gigabyte version of the build. Something I like about Recall Box is it's super, super simple. You know, everything can be found on your start menu. You don't have to go, like in RetroPie, you have to go to an options menu and change it from there. Um, the other thing is it's, it's, you know, a lot of just on off switches or like selection. So it's, it's, it's easy not to get into trouble, <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, what I mean by that is some people on uh, RetroPie, especially new users, uh, can get to command prompt or get stuck in choosing their emulator or get stuck in RetroArch or something like that. Um, with this, it's, it's very plug and play, pretty, pretty easy stuff. Um, also impressed by Nintendo 64 performance. Um, not necessarily digging this theme. I don't like the brick on orange color there on initial thought. like the Pac-Man though. Um, so not a huge fan of the theme inside. Just going to say that. But the theme outside is nice and I like that it gives you the history of the systems. If you look down in the bottom center. So it is a total of about 13,000 games. And if you're wondering how big the file size is, it is 119 gigabytes which is 128 billion, 43 million, 712, about 713,000 bytes at the end. So make sure your SD card is big enough before you, you know, get the file or you may need to 
get a larger SD card. So as far as games on here, let's go ahead and check it out. Atari 7865, Commodore 64, almost 400, Cave Story. This is probably going to be uh, not in English, just so you know. Uh, Coley Co. 156, Dreamcast. We got quite a few here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there's no doubles. I'm just, oh, skipped over one. It's kind of weird. Oh, okay. They're all say arcade. That's why. Um, so quite a few here. I'm guessing orange means it's a folder. Yeah. Okay. Orange means folder. So some nice Dreamcast games. That's because you got that 128 gigabytes here. Do know that you uh, might need a different SD card. A two, I'm running this on a 200 gigabyte SD card. So something right off the bat that a lot of people should know. So here you go in the arcade system. He's got a bunch of little folders here and he's got them separated by different publishers here. So Sega games, PGM games, Konami games, uh, arcade classics as well. Capcom miscellaneous CPS one, two, three cave games. Uh, all sorted in there. We'll check those out in a second. Family Computer Disk System 173, Game Gear 295, Game Boy 622, Game Boy Advance, one, all, all of them, almost 1100, Game Boy Color 606, Game and Watch 52, and Television 140, Lutra, we got 44 here. Those of you who want to go old school. MAME 3342. So this is just all your MAME games all together. It's not like the 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 uh, libretto core there's going to be some duplicates between those two just fyi uh sega master system 365 sega mega drive also known as genesis 904 so yeah it's going to have your unlicensed games as well so some uh hidden gems in there like aladdin 2 for the genesis msx1 potentially msx2 in here as well Quite a bit, 700. Nintendo 64, 229. You also have some prototype games in here as well. Something I like about Recall Box, Nintendo 64 performance. I mean, it's it's good. Um, it's it's definitely good. One third. It's not it's not perfect though. <laughs> Just don't get me wrong. Neo Geo 137. Nintendo 1,230. So there's going to be a lot of oddball games in here as well. So hack games unlicensed games it's got to be a lot some uh, games from other countries as well we'll probably get some you know releases from South America Japan etc all right Neo Geo Pocket 9 Neo Geo Pocket Color 76 Odyssey 283 PC Engine 289 PC Engine CD-ROM 45 PSP, this is mostly PSP minis, but there's a couple regular PSP games like the Dragon Ball Z games. But like, as you can see here, these are all mini PSP minis, primarily PSP minis in this collection with a few PSP games hidden in there. Um, for those of you that are watching, you know, do I think this is the best 128 gigabyte image out there? No, you know, as you saw, there's some setup to get yourself into this one. Um, but it is full. If you're looking for ROMs, you know, this thing is loaded with ROMs. So that's always a plus as far as, you know, there's definitely massive collections here. Uh, PlayStation 144. So quite a big PlayStation collection. And I know a lot of people are even today still excited about the PlayStation Classic. Well, hacking it at least now that you can get them for, you know, I've saw people getting them for $30, $40. You know, if you're paying more than 60 or 70, you're way paying way too much. Um, it's now official that the PlayStation Classic did not sell as well as Sony had hoped for. Uh, but, you know, we have the Raspberry Pi, which plays these games great. And uh, 144 instead of whatever PlayStation came out with, uh, pretty nice. Mega Drive 32X, Sega 32X 36, that's all of them. Sega CD 14, so a couple games missing here if you're into Sega CD. But he's got a lot of the good ones. SG-1078, Super Nintendo, again, 1,000. You know, typically it's about 700 or so, a little under 800. So there's going to be some prototypes in here. Yeah, some Jap so this is for 
Jap uh, Japanese release, and you'll probably see some unlicensed games in here as well. So quite a big collection there. Super Graphics 5 is pretty standard. Virtual Boy 28, Wonder Swan 45, Wonder Swan Color 31, ZX Sinclair 81, 25. ZX Sinclair Spectrum Color, baby. 369, and then back to favorites. 18 games. You'll notice a lot of Dragon Ball Z because the Mini Cake TV was the one who made a Dragon Ball Z only theme. So he's all about it. Uh, now I am overclocked, but you're not going to see that kind of performance. Um, you know, you're not going to. It's not. You're not going to see any better performance out of Neo Geo because of the overclock. In case you're wondering. That, um, especially when the screen fills up, that lag is pretty typical in my experience. But like on a boss fight, for example. Um, let's go ahead and try out our Dreamcast. Uh, we could go ahead and do Marvel vs. Capcom 2. So you can see there's no um, bezel for Dreamcast. It runs on a different emulator. And uh, it's running really good though, so far. Oh, there's a little bit of tearing there. I might have to change the settings. Wrong button. Oh. Get wrecked, kid. Oh. Ouch. All right. Start select out of there. All right, here we go. How are they able to make these adjustments so fast? Oh. All right, I'm in last place. There we go. All right. I need some of those nitros. I guess I got to get off course for those. Ooh, here we go, here we go. Oh, missed that. Okay. All right, so there you have it, the Mini Cake TV throwing out this 128 gigabyte image. It's actually got quite a few little issues. Uh, so do know that you know it's probably not gonna fit on most 128 gigabyte SD cards. If it is, it's gonna be like a Samsung or something like that. So if you download this, you might be you know upset that it's not gonna fit. You might need a 200 gigabyte SD card. The other thing about it is I am finding a lot of broken games. They're not really broken, but in my opinion, they just don't run really good on the Raspberry Pi anyways. Um, you got games like the Avengers here. Um, you know, some of these higher performing arcade games just don't really work. Um, the other thing is he has his controls already bound and some of the systems bound as well. And for the most part, they were fine with me, but you might want to change them even further. Um, Dreamcast worked good. The bezels were all set up. The performance is great. Um, so, you know, I'm going to give this one like a B plus. Just note that you have to change the language. The file size is extremely large. He did not shrink it for you. Um, and then there are going to be um, quite a few titles on this system that just will not run. I don't know if he was just copying like the whole pack and just threw them on there anyways. Maybe he's thinking that some people are gonna rip this onto a PC build and then it might work because the PC will be much 
faster, or maybe he's anticipating a Raspberry Pi 4. Not entirely sure on the reasoning. Um, the other thing, I'm not a fan of the, the theme as well, as I mentioned earlier in the video. So for all those reasons, it's definitely not going to be my go-to. But uh, as I mentioned, there's not a lot of images running on the Batocera uh, recall box, so you don't really have a lot of options. Um, so with all that said, and then the last thing is that overclock, just be well aware. Whoa, somebody woke up. Just be well aware that uh, that it's gonna that it's gonna be overclocked when you first boot up. It's not gonna blow up your Raspberry Pi or anything, but you'd want to probably just change that when on uh, first boot, unless you have really good cooling. So with all that said, that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. And for those curious, like anytime I have my baby with me. He always seems to scream at the end. He's quiet throughout the whole video. Maybe he's excited that it's over. I don't know. Anyways, peace out.